were here last year. <laughs> okay. In the last group, uh, there are quite a few returners. Uh, so last year we talked about a couple of things, and uh, the feedback we got is you enjoyed some of those. So we'll, re we'll revisit that, and then we'll introduce you to some new concepts. And uh, before I introduce some of these players right here, uh, I'm going to go over something. You know, everybody uh, talks about set plays, like these coaches diagram these intricate plays. You've seen it in football and basketball, it's the same. And there's two ways we teach our players. Number one is on the court, that's the most effective. But you would be surprised that sometimes inside of our locker room, are these guys coming here? No, they're, they've already been here. See, it represents that key right there. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna draw a play up. These guys learned this play today for the first time. So they don't know it much better than you. <laughs> we're gonna ask them to come out and do it. And then we're gonna get five of you to come out and do it as well. You can somehow in a loud arena, basketball is always playing in front of a loud crowd, home or away. You can't always hear. So you have to have a way of, uh, of a hand signal. So ear is, I would grab my ear. That would tell everybody on our team that that's the starting point. That's where they go. That's where the play originates, okay? So there's five players in basketball. Each of them have a number. The point guard is number one, right? When he's circled, what does that mean? He's got the ball, right? So this guy over here is the three. He doesn't have the ball, that's where he stands. The four stands in this corner. The five stands at the foul line, and the two stands over here. That, when I call ear, and we may run like five or six different plays, but that's where they stand. They know to run to those spots, and that's where it starts. That's what ear means, okay? Now the play that I'm gonna show you is called spread. And look at spread as almost like a concept. Okay? I can maybe have a different, like thumb up is another starting point. You know, thumb up, they stand in different places. And we have a thumb up spread. Spread means the play, thumb up means that's where you stand. So back to ear, that's where you stand in ear. And now we start going over the plays, okay? So ear spread, that's something that we really run. And that's the first play we put in this season. What's that mean? Pass the ball, right? Dribble. No, a broken line. Dribble. Pass. So you got it? That means pass. I'm going to help you with dribble here in a minute. Now we give it to the ball, right? Just like in this diagram, one has the ball. And there's one more. There's one more. Once you know this one, you really can diagram your own place. This one right here. Let's make this three. Doesn't have the ball. Set. Screen. Pick, pick and screen is the same thing. We call it screen. That means you're going to go put your body on the defense. Almost take them out like a block, like blocking in football, except you can't move. You have to come to a stop when you hit the defense. But all set plays have at least one screen. Okay? So, as I've shown you, that's like our uh, map right there, right? So back to here, that's the starting point. That's where they stand. So let's diagram the play, okay? One has the ball. Cut, right? Moved up, catch it. Pass. Pass. One passes, three the ball, watch five. Three. Sets a screen for two. Score! <laughs> but, what is that? He didn't score yet. He cut without the ball, he used the screen, right? Now you see we start putting a lot of information on one diagram. So now we move to the next diagram. So three has the ball. Here's two. One no longer has the ball. Looking for over here. 
doesn't do much on this play, right? He's still standing in the right corner. <laughs> Three passes the ball back to one. Five's getting ready to set his second screen. One dribbles off the screen. It's a ball screen, right? An on-ball screen. And then to finish the play, we have four, one, five, then flex to the basket, three slides over, two slides out. That's the end of the play. <laughs> Third freshman, Angelo Joel. Yeah! Angelo plays the four. Josiah plays the one. Siddiqui plays the five. Angelo's from San Diego, California. Wow. Wow. Recognize these two guys. Yeah. 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 Jesse's going to play the three. He's from St. Louis. This is, uh, this is a big year for him. Woo! Arizona. Three, one, two, and four. Here's the other thing that happens. Come on here, Jeff. Let's pretend Jeff's on our team and we sub him in. He subs in for uh, Jesse Perry. I do it. He subs in for Angelo Cho. <laughs> right? Now here's what happens, okay? Jesse knows two positions, the three and the four. Goes to <laughs> Jeff goes to the three. Now you see how important that was? I was just coaching a team where Jesse was the three. Now he's the four on one substance. Okay? Now get back out. The good coach. Back to the no. Jeff goes back to the three. Four. See? They switch spots. So it really organizes both them and us. It makes sure that I know who's in the game. Okay? That's a 30 second timeout. All right, fellas, here we go. Here, spread. Woo! <laughs> so, ear spread. What's the first thing? Josiah's going to pass the ball to Jesse. Stop. Siddiqui's going to set a screen. Rob's going to cut to the basket. Jesse's going to throw to Rob. Rob will make the throw. He's looking for that. That's our first option, right? Give the ball back to Jesse. Rob's not open. Sorry. Pass to Josiah. Notice Siddiqui. This time, just don't even do it. Just for the day. Hold up, hold back, Sadiqi. So remember, Sadiqi sets the second screen. Remember, sets the second screen, goes to the rim. Here comes Josiah. What makes this play good is it puts our point guard in a position to do a lot of things. He can throw a lob to Sadiqi. He may throw a pass all the way over here to Rob. He can turn the bend, kick it here to Angelo. But Josiah's the guy that makes this go. That's really why we're running the play, to let the guard use the ball screen make plays. And these guys play off of it. Okay, does it make sense? All right, here we go. It's right in the room. Bang. First option, Rob. Not open. Second option, Josiah. Throws it to Siddiqui. Oh. Rob and Angelo are on Arizona's team. Let's just say Angelo is over here. If we're going to this game, we're getting ready to shoot at this basket. So Rob starts dribbling up the court. And a member of the other team starts running behind. And you see this all the time. They tip the ball or they steal the ball. And all of a sudden, instead of us having a fast break, the other team has one. It's a disaster. So what we've done is we have a name that any player, and by the way, fan at the game, that when an Arizona player is dribbling up the court, someone from the other team is really coming behind them. We yell, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you heard. <laughs> no. As soon as Rob hears Angelo, whoa, he better be louder than that. <laughs> Team is Kirill. And Kirill, how many, how many languages do you speak, Kirill? Three languages. Okay? 
So I, I thought that knowing his personality, how engaging he is, the way he talks, he can hit you with some different languages if he wants. We're going to auction off first. Kyle, if he could go. Eric Williams had a game-saving block. It was the first ever whiteout at McHale. To me, it was the greatest crowd that I've ever coached in front of, and these guys enjoyed playing in front of them. We had the same thing this year for Washington, ironically, a whiteout. Derek became the number two pick in the NBA draft. It's an incredible shot. Um, and I'm going to start the auctioning with Kirill helping at $400. I think that's a that's a fair starting price. 500, 500 right here. Keep your hands down, Kirill. 500, what? Keep your hands down. 500, 500 two. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. He's not experienced. He's going to learn. Okay, so we have $500, 500. Two bits. Somebody wants more. How about five hundred and fifty dollars for this? Keep in mind, one point three seconds. So I'm gonna do what y'all want. You want a national championship? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to you.